Okay, ladies, so I know that we're all busy. We got lots to do, so let's do a seven-minute makeup job, and you'll be out the door. First thing, we're going to put on Silk Primer. Silk Primer is a Synergence product that helps shrink the pores and wrinkles in your skin so that your foundation or color correct contented moisturizer goes on smooth and lays on your face. You put it on, let it dry, give it just a few minutes to set in, then you take your color correct contented moisturizer. I use medium. I put it on my little round kabuka brush. Um, got off Amazon. It's short and cute and sweet, and I like things just easy peasy. The color correcting tinted moisturizer is a sheer coverage. It has a mechanical shield that protects yourself, your face from the sun. Our color correcting tinted moisturizer goes up four levels up or down to help uh, color correct to your skin tone and have a perfect match on your skin. And then once you're done with that, we're going to start on the eyes. The eyes I use are Synagent's Shadow Sense because it is a cream to powder. It's mixable, blendable. We have all kinds of colors to choose from. This I'm using a Whisper Pink. I'm using it to cover my entire eyelid. I have a flat. It's considered a foundation brush. It's an e.l.f. brush at Target you can get for a dollar. And I use this brush and I take the Shadow Sense and blend it all around my eyelid on both sides and you can start with a little or a lot it depends on your preference um you can also use your fingers for this i just prefer a brush and i like the big flat one because it gets the full coverage real quick and easy then i take um desert storm desert storm is like a pinky matte color it's one of our new collections it's a limited edition and i put it in my middle crease of my eye then i'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend it out. The thing about our cream to powders, you have to blend, 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 blend. And you're just going to blend out. And I go above my crease line. So that way when I open my eyes, because I have hooded eyes, the color, the color will still be seen. See, looks good, looks good. Then I take a new Smoke Shimmer, which is also a limited edition. Um, get it now while supplies last. Once it's gone, it's gone. Smoke Shimmer I put on my outer V, and I just use it straight from the brush because I'm almost out of it. And then I'll just take a small brush once I get on both sides, and you just take a little bit. Sorry, something's in my eye. I don't know what's going on. Take it from your outer V, blend it in, and then I take it right below my crease line. So when my eyes are fully open, you can see the full color all the way across my eyelid. And this also helps to give you some dimension to the color of your eyes. And then I just take a little flat brush, a little small eye brush, blending brush, and I just blend out to make all the colors blend together so there's no lines or hard lines in my eye color. Next, I'll be taking what was one of my favorites is Pink Opal Shimmer. Pink Opal Shimmer I will put in the bottom corner, right corner of my eyelids. And this is just to give my eyes a little more color or lightness. In the color and not be so dark and then I will take it and then I just pat it instead of blending it so I don't lose all the color out of it because setter senses are very pigmented and they hold a lot of color so just a little bit goes a long way and then I take the pink opal shimmer I put it on the very top right under my brows to give myself a little something still in my eye to give myself a little brow lift right there then I'm going to take rustic brown which is another shadow sense and this is what I take with an eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to dabble, dab in my brows. Now remember, girls, your face is not finished unless you do your brows. It is the window treatment to your face. And then I, that's it. Brows are done. Looky there. Done. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to take Desert Storm again. And once again, the shadow sense. And I'm going to blend it out on my cheeks as my blush. You can use any of our colors, bandana, shimmer, pink, pink posy, everything for shadow sense is amazing for blush. Now, we're going to do our eyeliner, eyeliner, easy peasy eyeliner pencil. We have it in black and brown, and it is smooth, wax free. It will not smudge. Your eyeliner will still be there when you're at the end of the day. You will not have raccoon eyes. It glides right on. It is one of my favorite, look, something. It's a little hard to do it in your camera in your phone camera but that's it easy peasy eyeliner pencil now the other side 
You can start with the top or bottom, whichever you prefer, because when you look up, look, it's not on my eyelid. Because a lot of eyeliners, when you try to put them on and you close your eyes, then your eyeliner's on the top of your eyelid. Not with ours. Eyeliner pencils, get yours today. Now, Volume Intense Black Mascara. This mascara helps grow your lashes as you put it on. It is thick and you can, it's just like any of our other products, our our eyes are blendable, shadows are blendable, our lips are layers. You put everything on in layers. And so the more layers you put on, the thicker and fuller your lashes will look. This is getting me out the door. I got things to do today. I don't have time for all that. So I'm literally throwing it on quick. Look, globbed it on too much. Here we go. Going to finish this eye off real quick and easy. And then you're done, ladies. We're just going to grab some uh, lip scents. Look, we're going to touch a few more on the other lashes. Build it up. It's layer. It's build it in layers. Build it in layers. Look, you there. Easy peasy, girls. We're almost to it. We're at six minutes. We can have our lips, our makeup, full face makeup done in seven minutes. You have to clean and dry lips with your lip scents. You don't want them to adhere to anything but your lips. No product needs to be on your lips. You go one direction on your lips. That's what adheres. The first layer is what adheres to your lips. The second layer is what is going to protect that first layer throughout the day. And give it just a few seconds to dry. I sometimes, right there, you see me blowing. Open your mouth, blow a little bit. That's my third layer. And my third layer is what is going to protect me from my eating and drinking throughout the day. Now, I'm looking for gloss. Ah, oh, found a prism. Prism gloss, letting it dry, let it dry completely before you put your gloss on. You put on prism gloss, it is a very um, silvery looking gloss. I really enjoy it. There you go, girls. Get your full face makeup.